Hello, my name is Carmen, but you can call me Miss Carmen. As always, my mission is to teach you conversational Cuban, and that is why today's terms will be very useful to you, especially in this, uh, how do you call it, niña este ambiente, especially in today's narrative. Today's terminology is utilized to uh, refer to people in political, different political affiliations or sympathization. And today's uh, first term is called gusano. Gusano is really the term meaning gorm or... Gorm. Uh, eso es lo que acabo de decir. Gusano gorm. Gorm. Ya. Niño. Gusano literally means maggots. You know, the maggots that grow on uh, wheat or rice or all food that is fermented and uh, going the pudrization, uh, pudrice, uh, going uh, spoil, uh, going bad, uh, etc. So, uh, gusano really is a maggot. And this is a terminology that Fidel Castro really applied, applied to uh, Cubans who are not sympathizing with his revolution. So he literally called everyone that is not uh, sympathizing with the revolution a maggot, a gusano. So literally you are the bottom, 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 que va, si no se puede trabajar. Bottom of the barrel, barre no, barre de barrer, barrel, ba, ba, so you can imagine a president or dictator, leader of a country, he literally calls those people who are not in agreement with him maggots, gusanos. So anyone who is not sympathizing with the revolution, anyone who wants to leave Cuba, anyone who wants to have a different ideology, a different idea of what uh, the political situation should be, is called a maggot. So we are the gusanera, uh, or uh, we would call that the maggotness. Uh, basically, it's the community of maggots that live uh, outside of Cuba, or uh, the maggots in Cuba that manifest against the revolution, like the ones who are going out on November, uh, 15. I am a gusana, a proud gusana, it may be weird to say that you are a proud maggot, but I am a proud maggot. The second term that we are going to be exploring today is Claria. And I know that you may not be familiar with this term, but uh, we Cubans use it a lot, especially for people on social media who we call cyber Claria. Claria is a fish that looks like this. Claria is basically the fish version of maggots and is the term that the gusanos use to describe those who sympathize with this revolution. So the clarias are a fish that, you know, they are bottom of the barrel. They live in mud, they live in uh, salt water, sweet water, and they live everywhere that you can imagine. They live in the dirt. The clarias eat everything from food to fish to shit. shit. Shit, shit, mierda, caca, desperdicio, feces. You happy? So basically, when we have a, a people that attack us on social media, and uh, we suffer a lot of attacks from people that say, hey, you talk about Cuba here. Why don't you go talk about Cuba over in Cuba? Why don't you be brave? It's very easy to talk about Cuba when you live in the United States. Uh, so those are cyberclarias. Uh, those are clarias. Those are people who just basically, you know, do anything to kind of uh, sympathize with this ideology because they get maybe an extra drone steed of chicken in their uh, rations, or you know, they get a little favor here and there to make it to uh, the end of the month, even though, you know, they're arrastrados like everybody else. So there you have it. You have Mago and you have Cyber Claria. Which team are you? Are you team Mago or team Claria? Let me know in the comment section. And that is it for today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed this moment, and please make sure you like, subscribe, and share with your friends and family. See you next time. Now is my time to shine. Let's when your time comes, don't postpone it. When others doubt and out, you don't condone it. Truth be told, yourself is your toughest opponent. When your moment comes, grab hold and own it. Never let go.